Good, crisis averted there. Whew. Alert, thank you for always helping out. Appreciate it. Another replay from a Wings fan. He did send me a ton. Yeah, Steve, very happy man indeed. Alright, well we're gonna make you happy and salivate because here is the Alaska. Oh, and you got Halsey on it, too. <laughs> okay. I've got so many pictures of this ship. I... What can I do that's different? Oh, wrong button. Maybe I'll do a butt shot. I, haven't, I don't know if I... I have done... Look how beautiful she is from the rear, by the way. Look at that butt. Oh. Um, to do what did you know what? Ah, this is good. This is good. It's like you're, like you're on a launch approaching the ship, you know, and you can just, just see the size of her. It's crazy. See something like that? Boom. Okay. Yeah, look at that rear ducky. Duck boy, absolutely. Okay, so anyway. Consumer reload. Anti-air secondaries. Repair booster. So things missing. Fire reduction. Big time. Necessary on the ship. Uh, good thing you've got the uh, anti-air, because that'll help against the audacious. Anti-debt would be useful. Yeah. Stock permanent camo. Cool. Um, now, one of the things... Oh, too bad you can't, you can't get a picture from the bridge? Challenge accepted, son. Challenge accepted. Uh, let's let him sail in, and... Boom. That's not really the bridge, though, is it? I don't know where the bridge is on this ship. <laughs> uh, is, is it this? Is this is it the open air bridge here? It's weird. I'm used to having like glass and stuff to look through. I guess there is some glass here and there's the compass there. So I could screenshot like this. What do you think, huh? Huh? It helps when you've been on ships like this, <laughs> and you kind of have an idea what you're looking for. Good idea there, Steve. Thank you for that. Um, so, Alaska, if you don't have it yet, uh, it's got some beautiful strengths. Oh, and you've got that Halsey Reload Booster. Um, it's got some, some wonderful strengths. For example, its AP has amazing penetration. It is the ultimate cruiser killer. HE is okay, it's not it's not fabulous, but you don't play this ship for the HE, you play it for the A freaking P. Um 305mm guns. It's got pretty darn good anti-air, although with the rework, anti-air is a little bit different. So um Steve, unfortunately I am as far away from pretty much every wargaming Anchors away location next year as possible. I live in Chicago, and that means um, I have to fly or drive a good distance to any of them. And so, unfortunately, right now, it doesn't look like it's in the cards. Um, but we'll see. You never know what happens in the future. Yes, it does have improved pen angles, that is very true. Um, the other big benefit that this ship has is that the Citadel is underwater. Um, so you have to be very careful about it. Um, I always, always like to rep my, my buddies, my fellow community contributors, and 
Business Six. Look for his channel. He did a great sh uh, replay analysis of one of his games in the Alaska. He explained how he set it up. He explained how he's played it. Um, he fell in love, absolute love, with this ship. Um, and so as a result, he knows it very well. He knows how it handles. He knows what to expect out of it. He knows so much. And uh, so he's a phenomenal resource. Wingspan using the radar here, probably not necessary, so I'm not sure why he used it. AP on a... Okay, he switched to HE, good. That's because the AP on a ball in Baltimore is not going to help. Well, Steve, I appreciate the offer. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, I've never been to Buffalo, so I'll have to check that out. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I have to look up the date and all that kind of stuff too. One of the things that's difficult for me is um, in my day job as an educator, I get certain numbers of days off and if um, if their event butts up on a holiday weekend, that typically means that I lose pay, so I prefer not to do that if I can help it. You're about 10 to 15 minutes from Little Rock. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-huh. You put yourself in a bad spot. Nice. There's that EP coming into play. Double Citadel. He's in a bad spot, but again, the, the thing that the thing that we found with the Alaska, and like I said, business was one of the pioneers on this from the community contributor side of things, is that this ship excels at pushing. Absolutely excels at pushing. It's got really good handling. The armor profile on it is okay. I mean, you eat a lot of full damage penetrations, but I mean, you're able to just push and. Once you get around the enemy and you get on their flanks, you just dominate. Just remember, they aren't invincible. By the way, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm using the Ace Combat 4 voice mod. I find it to be a lot of fun to play, especially when I'm playing carriers, but um, I just picked up Ace Combat 7 and... Uh, it's just, it's fun, especially when I'm listening to Ace Combat music and as the background music instead of Warships music or something else. Neptune got a torpid on the conch. It might be worth it to switch to HE. There you go. Um, switch too early, and as a result, you're, you're. Well, no, actually, I think you did it pretty quick after you shot your AP. Um, but anyway, it's got pretty decent HE capabilities as well. Look at that fire chance. I think it's like 30%, 35 or something silly like that. So, hey, why not? Now you're being cross-shot from those other battleships, so... Makes sense why you would turn like this. What's up, Predator? Happy Sunday to you. Again, those of you guys that are hanging out and haven't heard the beginning, I do apologize for streaming at such a weird time. Um, unfortunately, oh, that radar came too early. Um, with uh, yesterday, I went and actually hung out with Sea Raptor because uh, he was down in Chicago, so that was fun. And um, today, there's you know clan battles and we're doing the EU time, so it's the early afternoon, so, um, and then tonight is Game of Thrones, so it's just, I don't have a lot of time to be able to stream and do all this other stuff, so, I wanted to get my, uh, games in with, with you guys, my replays in, so, there we go.
Bismarck, that's kind of low. Your Hakuryu is... Well, I don't really know why he's over there and getting farmed, but he's going to go down. Don't let them get away. That's unfortunate. This is a pretty strong position you found yourself in. Um, <clears throat> you're also behind the rest of your team, so that's kind of nifty. <coughs> See, obviously, they're going to focus on other opponents. Well, thanks, Zorax. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I mean, I think it says something about the community when you got people that want to come and watch other people's replays and learn and give feedback and help other people grow. So, it's good stuff. Now, some people might think that they can bow tank in the Alaska, and uh, you cannot. Um, against some battleships, you're, I think it's got 27mm armor. Um, so, again, against like the 380mm battleships, like the Frenchies, sure, you can bow tank them. But everybody else will smash your face in. Yeah, that's a possibility. Thanks, Steve. Like I said, I'll, I'll look into it. All oh, beautiful. Switch to HE first and then radar. Oh well. You would have been better off there um, switching to HE and waiting and then radaring. You've got Halsey, so you might as well use the, uh, the quick reload. Um, you kind of screwed yourself out of a uh, another radar uh, salvo here, see? But that's okay, he's panicking and running away now. Nice. Torps. Three o'clock. Evade. Evade. And you've got a shot on the Alsace you can take. Good idea going into A. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Oh, St. Louis, St. Louis, Louis, and he gotta go. A little early on the hydro there, but it's alright, you know he's got torps that are 9 kilometers, so you're thinking about that already. I love how the Neptune is trying to shoot the audacious there. You're just waiting for the turnout. Okay, he torped at you. Yep, there you go. He didn't torp that, did he? I, th I thought he did. He was looking your way, but not uh, targeting you, so... Mm. Now he's got you. Oh. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> wow, that was beautifully timed by the Yamato. I was just about to say he was in a position to, to shove Torps in right in your face. And that Yamato said, no, be gone. Oh, double citadel. And the fire, oh, 
Did I catch it in time? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, it's probably too late. Oh, well. I caught a little bit of the fireworks. I have to be thinking more about that. I've, I've never actually caught uh, in a screenshot the, the fireworks before. I just caught them in replays. I just never had the wherewithal to stop the replay and, and catch that. So. Complete. Oop. Okay. That takes care of the Alaska. I'm going to get rid of the North Carolina replay because that was not working. And now we're going to do something Russian. Hey, Russian bias in progress. I mean, it's like they knew we were going to do this, right? And, huh, Zorax, congratulations. You win, son. You let me know 